Right, what we've got here is a Mark 1 Focus Master Cylinder. The reason I picked this one is it's short and stubby for the 1.8 turbo conversion. As you'll see, the original Mark 2 Golf 1.8 8 valve Master Cylinder is quite a bit longer. All I've got to do is swap that bottle onto there and grind a little tab off. Simples. That's the cylinder. A little filler thing taken off. As you'll see at the top there, there's a little tab. Buff that down. Advice, put something in the hole so you don't fill them with shit. After that, you should pop that bottle off. Take them seals out, put them seals in there, stick the bottle on top. Happy days. Let's have a go. Right, master cylinders in the vice. Filled the holes with grease because that's the only bloody thing I could find to fill the holes. And the grinder. finish off the hand file just to make that nice and neat get it all nice and flat because the flat my disc's pretty rough put the seals on done right that's that tab buffed off bit of the old uh, hand file to make it look neat nice and flat next take them seals out of there put them seals on top and stick the original mark II bottle on top for the brakes That's the seals in, that's a bottle on the top, that's it ready to rock. Can't really go wrong with that. As I said, quite a bit shorter than the original one. So when you stick the 1.8 turbo in there, that will not hit the engine. Done. Right, last bit. Get your master cylinder you built. Stick on your booster. You'll notice... internet tells you you need to put a three mil spacer in there or take that little bit out and buff three mil off of there be careful you don't take more than three mil or you it. that's it buff that off put a spacer in one or the other put it together stick it on the car then you have a far shorter setup for not hitting your bloody cylinder head on your 1.8 turbo sorted <laughs>